In baseball, there's an art to creating your batting stance. And with that, these are the 10 greatest stances in MLB history. They need to be that perfect combination of weird, iconic, and pure beauty. 10, Ricky Henderson. Honestly, he seems difficult to even hit the ball when you're crouched down that low. Didn't matter, he was still the greatest player of his era. At nine, a really old school player in Ty Cobb with a gap in his grip. Someone needs to bring the gap back. At eight, Jeff Bagwell. Another one of these weird crouched down low stances. I always thought he looked extremely intimidating in this pose. At seven, Kevin Euclid. It's weird, and I have no idea what possessed him to do this, but it worked. He was pretty good in his prime. At six, in terms of just bizarre, Craig Council has one of the most weird stances ever. Just pointing his bat to the heavens every time he's in the box. Was he a great MLB player? No. That's how you know it's iconic, when your stance was even more important than how you actually played as a player. Babe Ruth at five. This is a stance of pure beauty, and one of the greatest swings of all time. At four, I don't think there's any MLB player more known for his stance than Tony Batista. He was actually pretty good for a stretch. It's gotta be pretty intimidating as a pitcher when a batter's facing you looking like he's ready for a lightsaber duel. At three, Ken Griffey Jr. One of the most beautiful swings in MLB history. His stance is super iconic and there's not a baseball player on this earth that has not tried to replicate his stance and swing. At two, Ichiro. The idea of swinging and running to first base was always a good idea. But when you're also one of the fastest players in MLB and one of the best contact hitters ever, it made it even that much cooler. And at one, the perfect combination of weird, iconic, and pure beauty, Gary Sheffield.